No, 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 no. They were two, a set of two from, where did I find the crate and barrel for like $100. That's what I sent. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, you guys. So today's Monday and Mondays are my favorite days because I just feel like it's the start of the week. I'm very energized. I'm ready to wake up and get shit done. Um, but this morning, my son didn't have school. Texas, what's up with all these random off days for these kids? Like, what is an elementary holiday? Nobody knows what that is, but okay. But anyway, I woke up, I went to CVS and got uh, my fiance some uh, medicine because he's sick, because he had the AC man blasting. It was so cold or whatever. So he ended up getting sick and I went to CVS to go get him some medicine and all that stuff. But then I also went to Dunkin' Donuts. Let me show y'all. So I went to Dunkin' Donuts and I got me the signature latte caramel craze. Love, love, love that one. Um, I really like Dunkin' Donuts for their hot coffee, not so much their iced coffee. So for the iced coffee, I go to Starbucks. Um, but I don't like Starbucks hot coffee. I don't know, weird. But Dunkin' Donuts is actually what I live by now. Before I used to live by a Dunkin' Donuts and a Starbucks. Um, but now I only live by a Dunkin' Donut. So that's kind of where I've been going lately. Um, so I don't know, I might get an iced coffee later on, who knows. But those signature um, lattes, the caramel craze in particular, so good. They used to have a toasted, what was it? Like a toasted white chocolate or something like that. Toasted crunch. I don't know, but it was so, so good. But it was like one of those limited menu items. And I'm so mad that they did not keep that as like, you know, their menu items. But whatever. Today, what we got going on is... Um, what we got going on for? I'm going to put up the chairs for my kitchen. Um, my bar stools, definitely needed those because I need somewhere to sit. And then, what else? I don't know how this day is gonna go. Honestly, I don't have anything planned for you guys. Um, so I don't know how this day is gonna go, but I know for sure that my chair's gotta get put together um, for us to have somewhere to sit. And then I think that my boxes is coming as well for the rest of my items. So, yeah. This vlog may be all over the place. And this is a couple of days um, put into one video. But I want to come and give you guys a quick story time. I've only been here for about like a week and a couple of days. But as I was saying earlier in this vlog, y'all will see me like putting together the chairs and then also um, that I get my packages. Well, let me tell you what happened with my packages. So I did not pack that much stuff. And honestly, the stuff that I did pack, I probably could have just rebought. And I was like, no, I'm just gonna pack it. I don't need to rebuy it because it matches my, you know, um, aesthetic of the kitchen. So I'm just gonna pack them with me. And I don't have to worry about that. Well, I still gotta rebuy some stuff. I ship my packages through U, um, UPS because I didn't have that many, right? So I loaded up my car with what I could. And then I had um, sent off like five boxes through UPS. And so that was about like $400 to send those, a little over $400 to send those uh, boxes. And so when it got here, first off, when it got here, the UPS man, I was in the house all day. Um, my fiance and my son, it was out at the pool, but I was in the house all day. Now, granted, I was cleaning, so I, I, it's kind of hard to hear the door, and that was before we got a ring doorbell. So, I heard, like, a knock, and I was like, okay, I'm not hearing things. Let me go and see. So, I'm looking, and I didn't want to answer it just yet. Like, I can see out my peephole 
somebody walking down the stairs. But I didn't want to open up my door yet. Um, so when I did open it, my packages were sitting right there on the side, except for one. One I had to sign for. So I'm rushing out the door, trying to get down the stairs to catch the UPS man before he pull off. He's in a wait downstairs. Tell us, and there's a package that you need to sign for. I just assumed that y'all wasn't at home. Why you assume that? You left all my packages there, and then you waited for me to come down to sign this one. So I'm like, yeah, I was here. I signed for it. He brings it upstairs. I broke, I bring the boxes in, and it took me a while to actually open them. But then when I did open them, I noticed that I had some broken items. Like I'll put the pictures up of some of the items. So like my crock pot was like completely broken. The inside that goes inside the inside part, whatever, that's detachable, that broke, like shattered in pieces. However, the top did it, weird. But that shattered in pieces. And so when that shattered in pieces, there was like dust everywhere in the box, all on the other stuff. And in that same box, I had my, um, what I, I had my blender in there. And so it had like residue from the broken crock pot. But I'm able to like wipe that down or whatever, but I still included that in the pictures for my claim. And then I had some um, of my champagne glasses broken. Um, some of my red wine glasses was broken. Um, my food containers where like the little pretty stackable ones that you put like, you know, your pastas and stuff in, that was broken and cracked. And so, um, also when you look at the boxes, you can tell like they just, they've been through some things. Like they had a rough time getting here, you can tell. And so I put in a claim, um, the lady who helped me at the UPS store back in Minnesota, she was really, really nice, really helpful. Um, she even gave me a discount because online you can do a discount when you send your boxes. Um, but that discount didn't apply when you do it in store but she was still nice enough to give me that discount. So I'm like, okay, she cool, I rock with her. I had to call her back and let her know my boxes came damaged, I had some broken things. And she was like, oh, okay, you know, send me some pictures, send pictures of the boxes. And then you also have to send, um, like Google those items that's broken, um, just so they can kind of see the value of, of it because they give you up to $100 coverage each box and so she was like just go on google and find pictures of you know the stuff that you need replaced and send that over so me these glasses i got them from where did i get them from home goods because of course i got them from home goods and that was probably like forty dollars or something like that like for a set of four and then it's like forty, thirty dollars or something like that. No, 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 no. They were two, a set of two from where did I find them? Crate and Barrel for like a hundred dollars. That's what I sent. So some glasses was a hundred dollars. And then there was like a crock pot. I don't even know how much my crock pot was because it was old. I bought it a long time ago. I don't even know if I bought it or if it was gifted to me. Anyway, I went online and found a hundred dollar crock pot and I sent that as well. Everything that I wanted to replace, I had as a value of a hundred dollars. Cause how you gonna tell me they wasn't? How you gonna tell me it wasn't? I probably got these champagne glasses from Tiffany's. You don't know. So I did that. Um and I was like, okay, cool. Then my email come back and it's talking about some claims take about three, what they say, three to five weeks or something like that. Damn. That's a long time to like look at this case. Like I sent you pictures. I kind of reported it immediately after getting the um my packages. You know, I didn't wait the whole 48 hours and all stuff. Like I think I sent that information like the very next day. Or something so I don't know I'm gonna wait for that claim to come back I haven't replaced the items yet because honestly I never even really used the crock pot I want to 
but I never really used the crock pot. So it depends on how I'm feeling. If I'm in a crock pot cooking mood, I'm gonna go and replace it. Um, regardless if they give me the money back or not or whatever. So I don't know, but that was just like, crazy because I could have just not sent the stuff in the first place <laughs> and like what was the point but anyway I'm still waiting on that um other than that though I feel like my my move was pretty smooth other than that my move was pretty smooth the rest of my items came in um well kept oh no let me tell you guys what happened too let me tell you I don't know what I be thinking, but I was around here unpacking. Stuff is everywhere, but I'm also taking pictures for the claim of the broken items. I have brought a waffle iron, iron that was gifted to me, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make me some blueberry waffles. I know I packed it when I left because I was like, mm, I ain't use it here, but I'm gonna use it there. I'm gonna start making like protein blueberry waffles that be bomb. Don't be so good, y'all. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna use it there to make that. And so I'm doing all this moving around and I'm putting like a lot of trash in the boxes as well because I'm unpacking, I'm taking pictures of the claim and then also my fiance's desk came and so we was doing that too. And so I put all the boxes and trash out on the balcony and stuff. And I go like a couple of days later, I'm like, oh, I want to really make them protein blueberry waffles so bad. Like I was just craving it. And so I'm looking and looking like, okay, I don't know. Maybe I have like a million cabinets in here, you guys. Like it's so much cabinet space. It's really nice. But it's like, I, I won't be using half of this space. So I'm like, okay, let me look through everything and see where did I put it. And I just kept thinking about it that whole day. Like, I know I brought that waffle iron from Minnesota. I know I packed it. Y'all. Why I think I threw that shit away? <laughs> I think I threw that waffle iron away. <laughs> it was probably in those boxes full of everything because I was just moving stuff all around. I think I threw that away. I'm so mad. It was like a big one too. It can make multiple waffles. Mad. And I might actually go buy me one because I've been making um the box says flapjacks, but that's pancakes to me. So whatever. I think like they're like a thinner pancake. So whatever, that's what I've been making over the stove. But I want a waffle. So I think that's definitely something that I'm gonna replace sooner than later. But that's crazy. I brought all the stuff and it's either damaged. <laughs> Or my dumb butt threw it away. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to replace that. But other than that, the move had went pretty smooth. Um, my items got here in time. Um, my cart made it here safely. But if you guys want to know, like, um, another video of me, like, you know, my process for moving here, why I moved, what it was like, what companies did I use um, for like transporting my car. Um, I'll make a separate video about that, but I am very satisfied with how I moved um, and how quickly my items got here and everything. So that's my crazy story time. Um, you guys, this vlog is probably all over the place but it's okay. All right, bear with me. I'm going to probably just do a B-roll of me putting the chairs together because why else? I mean, like what else would I do? I'm going to do a B-roll. You guys are going to listen to some music and watch me put the chairs together. And I will give you guys my thoughts on the chairs um, after sitting in it for a few and having...
Okay, y'all, I finished the chair, so here they are. Um, right now, I'm really, really liking them. I was scared that the gray might not match the um, granite countertop, but it goes pretty well. It's bringing out the gray in that granite countertop because I did not want to do brown at all. Um, so I am pretty satisfied with it. These um, have been up for a couple of days, so I've been sitting in them. My family been sitting in them, so they're pretty plush. Yeah, I'll see it. It bounced back, which is what I like. I do like the roundness of it. Um, I didn't want to do the square, but I really did like the roundness of it, which is what drew me to it. Um, and of course, my AC gonna kick on when I'm trying to do my video. And then I like the black metal. That was a really big thing for me. I did not want to do silver and I did not want to do gold, especially didn't want to do gold. Um, so the black metal is like, it was a non-negotiable for me for these chairs. So I really love them and it's the Sherpa material. And I know that over time it will not hold up well and it gets pretty dirty and hard to clean. Um, but right now I'm loving it. That's kind of what I'm going for right now. Um, and they're gonna work for the time being. Um.